Brighton Marine Hospital, Boston, Massachusetts. One of the best institutions of its kind in the world, a hospital of the U.S. Public Health Service. You are going to see a search, and you will be asked to take part in it. The price? A man's life. This is his world. This is the chair he lives in. These are the long, lonely corridors he uses. He sits and stares through this window every day, wondering, asking one question. Who am I? Who knows me? What is my name? This is the man. The stories that shock a nation, move them, make them laugh, begin here, like this one. I'm Paul Stewart. The search for a man's identity is our story. It started 18 years ago, and it's still going on. Reporter Don Hogan of the Boston Post took up the problem. The prize is a man's identity, his very life. Will you help? They're ready. They're rolling. The presses are rolling on deadline. The office of Dr. Marsh, head of the psychiatric division at Brighton Marine the doctor responsible for the rehabilitation of 800 patients with mental problems. Among them... Charles W. Jameson. We've got him here. But as for the rest of this letter... We don't usually pay attention to unsigned letters, Dr. Marsh. But this is the fifth one we've received, and I couldn't resist checking it out. I don't blame you, Mr. Hogan. That's a serious charge. Do you think Jameson could be a German spy? I don't know, and neither does he. The man has amnesia. Everything stopped for him when he was picked up out of the ocean. How did you find his name? He told us. You mean he knows who he is? All these years, he's said nothing but one thing. His name, his age, and that he's an American. We've tried everything we could. But he just sits there all day in a stupor. Well, you'll pardon my saying so, Doctor, but uh, it does seem strange that after all this time, the hospital hasn't found out who Jameson is. The problem of his identity was referred to the immigration department and the police. They all gave it up. No one seems to care anymore, so he just exists here. You care. Of course I care, but that doesn't matter to him. I might as well be a chair in the hospital or a bed. Someone from the outside has got to enter the picture and give him the will to recover. Well, here I am. I might just give him the will to fight. You came in here to verify a story. Are you willing to take on a more serious responsibility? Well, that depends. If you go out this door with me, Mr. Hogan, and enter Jameson's world, I don't say you will. But you might be the instrument for bringing a human being back to life. Hello, Mr. Jameson. Mr. Jameson, this is Mr. Hogan. He's come to see you. Hello, Mr. Jameson. Where's your home, Mr. Jameson? My name is Charles W. Jameson. I'm 49 years old. I'm an American. Where do you live? My name is Charles W. Jameson. I'm 49 years old. I'm an American. Those are the only words that he's ever said in this place. How old is he, really? Uh, 60, thereabout. 
He keeps saying 49, because time stopped for him when the war was on. Sprechen Sie Deutsch? Passen Sie auf hin und gut herauf. That's about all the German I remember. I'd like to do something. What? Well, you can't let a man sit in a chair. I can't. Come to my office. I'll let you see whatever we have. Please. Please. Wait, please. Yes, Mr. Jameson. Nobody ever came from the outside. Why did you come to see me? He's interested in you. Oh, I, I, I don't want to bother you, Mr. Jameson. But you came. Show him the letter. Well, it, uh, it was this. I'm no German, no spy hiding. But if I were, at least I'd know who I was. Is there anything you remember? Anything at all? Something I wouldn't we question could... him anymore today. Those words took a lot out of him. The first I've ever heard him say outside of his name and age. Come, Mr. Hogan. All those years just sitting there, not knowing anything about himself. He's the only unknown soldier who's still alive. Don Hogan would write about it. He would write about this unknown soldier who was still alive. And people would read it as much as Don Hogan knew, very little. man coming back to life, slowly, but coming back. There you are, Jamie. Thank you. I was afraid you wouldn't come today. Why? You haven't found out anything. You'll remember. How can I? I, I, I try, but... Nothing ever comes. They found you at sea. I wonder how it happened. You were in the Navy? The Merchant Marine, maybe. Were you born in the United States? My name is Charles W. Jameson. I'm 49 years old. I'm an American. Well, we'll forget it for a while. You know, you're talking more every day. You're going to get there. You'll remember. It's no use. Forget about me. Mr. Jameson, what's that? On your arm? What's that ship? It's the Alcyon. Well, whose ship was it? My ship. I sailed on it. We carried nitrates from Chile. What was your home port? Who was your captain? I, I don't know. Try. Uh, try to remember. I can't. But it was your ship, the Alcyon. My name is Charles W. Jameson. I'm 49 years old. I'm an American. But we know your ship. Dead end for Don Hogan at immigration and identification. His last chance was in the Boston Public Library, the Lloyd's Registry of Vessels. But there was no record of a ship called the Alcia. He would have to tell it. The news would have to be broken that Don Hogan had failed. Mr. Jameson. Look, all of it for me. 
Every morning now I wait for the mail. People even write to me. Mr. Jameson. I wanted I... you to come today. I've got something. Uh, look, uh, I'd like to talk to you. I hope you like this. I tried very hard. Uh, they've got a shop here. I wish it were better. Thanks. Thanks very much. It's good to be able to give a little something again. W will I see you tomorrow? I'll be here. The secret remained locked in. They would try for the last time something that had been tried before and failed. But perhaps now the psychiatric technique known as narcosynthesis might work. This is the sodium amytal, or as you newspaper people call it, truth serum. You know it's principal, I assume. It's supposed to act as a release for whatever is causing the amnesia, right? If it works. Suppose we begin. Now, when I ask you, Mr. Jameson, please begin counting backward from 100. 99, 98, and so on. Please begin, Mr. Jameson. 100. Ninety-nine. Ninety-eight. Now you'll feel fine right away. You'll go to sleep. Nothing will bother you. Go on counting. Ninety-seven. Ninety-seven. Ninety-six. Ninety-five. Ninety-four. Ninety-three. We've tried this before. No luck. He never said anything but his name and age before, either. 89, Do they take good care of you here, Mr. Jameson? Yes. How long have you been here? A long time. Tired of this hospital? Where else can I go? Where were you born? I don't know. Where did you live before the war? Do you like to watch sports? Yes. My favorite's basketball. Which is yours? Football. Which team do you like best? The Wanderers. The Wanderers? I don't know them. The Glamorgan Wanderers. They're a good rugger team. I see them a lot. That's British. It's much faster than football, isn't it? Did you ever play it? Sometimes. When I was a very young man. In England? What? Where did you live there? Where does your family live? I have no kith or kin. No wife or children? My name is Charles W. Jameson. I'm 49 years old. I'm an American. I had tried. Tried to unlock the deep hidden memories. But once again, as so often before, they had only grazed the surface. Well, Hogan, 
I was afraid we'd meet this resistance. We didn't get what we wanted, Doctor, but at least we got something. That he's English. Or that at some time or other he came from there. It's the only thing we got. And we can use it. It is, sir. Thank you. Hello, Hogan. Mm, fine, thank you. Well, our Consul General wishes to cooperate in your investigation any way we can. Well, if, if you like, we'd be most happy to come down to the hospital and interview Mr. Jameson. Perhaps we can assist in determining just what part of England he comes from. And the commercial bank in London, it, it was on the Strand. Uh, and it, it, it had a commercial department. The Strand hasn't changed very much in the last few years. Oh, a few new shops, perhaps, but that's all. Oh, and, of course, men still walking with their ladies. Mm -hmm. I, I used to use my hammock. I, it, it was in my garden. Oh, you had a garden? Yes, I, I think so. Uh, camellias, we had a lot of them. My family lives in South Kensington. Not much chance for gardening, but we do get some decent-sized flowers. Tell me, where was yours? I... I, I don't know. Did, did they repair the, the Farrington station on the district line? Some time ago. Uh, were you in London when it was bombed out? Yes. Yes, I remember. It was a, a V2. It was a dead hit. All those people killed. Nazi barbarians, we've got to stop them. We must win the war no matter what it takes or how long. Jamie, 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 the war is over. I've been trying to tell you. Yes, he's right, old man. It's over a long time ago. And the Nazis are all done for. I... I can't get past the war. Ask him what he did, what he served him. Uh, uh, tell me, Mr. Jameson, what does OHMS mean? Um, His Majesty's service. And the VC? Victoria Cross. Now, uh, can you tell me, what is a rating? It's a naval rank. Naval. I... I was naval militia. And you were found on a raft. It ties up. You were torpedoed. I... Were Mr. you? Hogan, I... Your I, ship, your ship, it was torpedoed. I didn't see any if there were. That was security instruction to all men on convoy duty. I can't tell you any more. I, I, I just can't. It's right there in front of us. Just what's wrong. Why he's resisting. Well, I, I don't understand. The shock of being found adrift in that ocean caused him to lose his memory. So he's back in the war and he won't talk. He won't do anything to violate security. That's why he's resisting. He's, he's pledged not to reveal anything about himself. You heard him. He's still fighting his war for the Allies. He's a good man. We've got to find out what ship he was on. Then we'll know who he is. So much of the puzzle filled in, so much still to go. Here in Jane's fighting ships lay the last big chance. Warships of the British fleet, cruisers, battleships, destroyers. All had seen action in the Second World War. Which one had he served on? Do you recognize it? The Malta. She was on the Dover patrol in the English Channel. I was never on her, though. The Plymouth. This is my ship. Look, here was my ship. That's her, my ship. A cable was dispatched immediately to London. Attention, the British Admiralty. Sir? Cable to Consul General, Boston, United States. Crew of ship has been checked, all accounted for. Jameson not among them. Regret to advise he never served aboard HMS Plymouth. I guess I'm just nobody. You were so sure about that ship. What made you say you served on her? You answered that before, Hogan. He wants to tell us the truth, but he can't. Subconsciously, he's still resisting. 
Jamie. Jamie, you trust me, don't you? You know I'm your friend. You've been very kind to me. Then trust me now. Believe what I tell you. The war is over. Make yourself understand. No one's going to be hurt if you tell us who you are. Everyone wants you to tell. There are no secrets anymore. Don't be afraid you're going to hurt anyone if you talk to us. Jamie? Okay, Jamie. We'll keep trying. Dr. Marsh. Who? Oh, yes. Just a moment, please. He's right here. The British consulate. Yes. Hello? Hello, Hogan. Fleetman here. Yes, I I've got some extraordinary news. Well, it seems our papers at home have been printing your stories about old Jameson. Well, I, I've just received another cable. It seems that a retired naval officer claims he knows who Jameson, Jameson is. Yes, yes, it's the tattoo on the arm. Well, the way he disappeared, this chap's absolutely positive. Mm -hmm. Yes, he's flying here tomorrow. be here any minute, Jamie. He's on his way right now. After all, this time you can spare a few minutes more waiting. Did he have to come so soon? Oh, now take it easy. He, he could have written to me and asked me questions first. Well, you sound like you're mad at him. Well, suppose he does say who I am. How do I know who I was, what I was? It's been years. Maybe, maybe they don't want me anymore. You're going back to the world. But I, I don't know it anymore. I, may, maybe being in this hospital is what nobody wants, but I know it. I, I, I'm used to it. I, I, I get along here. I, I, I don't belong out there anymore. It, it's been too long. Be frightened. Worry. Go ahead. But just remember this. You're not alone. I don't know you, sir. I've made a mistake. Oh, Jamie, I'm sorry. It's all right, Mr. Hogan. Don't feel badly. That man came across an ocean to see me and trying to help. And you... Dr. Marsh and all the others. If all of you care for me, I know that I must be somebody after all. We'll find out who I am. The rules of writing a good story are simple, but in this case there is no choice but to violate them. For here was a beginning and a middle, but no end. The ending is still to come, and no reporter can create it. The ending can only come from one of you. This is the real Charles W. Jameson. Who among you knows him? Where does he come from? Who is he? 
He's waiting for your answer. His deadline is short. Thank <laughs> you.